Welcome back to PSC Stack Byte. Today we keep on talking about Microsoft Copilot Studio and I want to show you how you can create a custom copilot which can work on a specific set of documents or content in a target set collection or OneDrive drive. And you can do that using Copilot Studio and creating a custom copilot which will allow you to write prompts, for example, for a specific HR copilot or research and development copilot, where all of the content coming out from the prompt that you will provide to copilot will be actually based only on a specified set of documents in a specified target site or OneDrive uh, drive. You can do that with whole security in place, so you will be fully covered by the security infrastructure of Microsoft 365, and you can easily do that simply by using the MCS designer. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice. So let's say that I have a SharePoint online site in which I have a bunch of documents in this document library which are about the HR uh, department of my company, my Contoso fake company. And let's say that I want to have a custom copilot uh, to get access to this kind of content using a bot-based uh, user interface. So I have an HR copilot, no single sign-on sample right now. We will see in the upcoming episode how to leverage the single sign-on experience for end users, where I have defined my custom copilot in order to access those uh, uh, documents and the content in my HR site. In order to do that, you simply need to set up your custom copilot providing the URL of a site which will have to be the site in SharePoint Online and you can use up to four different sites as the target for your custom copilot. Notice that the URL is missing the HTTPS because it is implied that it will be an HTTPS based connection. So this is just the base URL of my target site collection. Once I have done that and once I have enabled the generative AI while creating my custom copilot, you can simply provide an experience like the following one in Teams where I have my custom HR copilot as a bot available in Teams. And as you can see now that I'm accessing this bot uh, after a while, I need to log into that one. Because right now, as I said, we don't have a single sign-in experience, which we'll be cover in an upcoming episode. So the very first time a user will use uh, this custom copilot or whenever the authentic will be needed, there will be a card like this one to prompt the user to log in. You click on the login button, you will be brought to the UI of the bot framework which is under the cover of Microsoft Copilot Studio and in a matter of a few seconds you will be authenticated. And here I am. Now I'm authenticated and I've got back a response to the question that I provided before which was how can I improve my career? Or I can say what are the hiring procedures of our company just to have another example and now that I have been authenticated I can just get back the response based on the content that I have in my SharePoint online site. Now regardless how I interact with the uh, environment uh, through the bot or eventually uh, in uh, one of the upcoming uh, demos using uh, a plugin in uh, uh, Microsoft 365 uh, uh, Copilot or Microsoft 365 Chat. Now in my uh, Copilot Studio I defined this custom copilot so that in the Generative AI section, we can see that this is the website that we are targeting and we have the Generative AI enabled for this uh, uh, custom copilot. Plus, in the settings of this custom copilot, under the security section, I configure that I want to have authentication, manual authentication, and I want to require user to sign in. Then I have to provide an application registered in Azure Entra ID, which I have registered right here, with its client ID and client secret. And I have to specify this redirect URL, which is based on the bot framework redirect URL, in the configuration of my application. So here, in Entra ID, I have my application. As you can see, you can recognize the same application ID. In the authentication section, I configured the URL provided by Copilot Studio as one of the supported redirect URIs, as well as I want to provide access tokens and ID tokens. And in the API permission section, I granted to this application 
defines read.all and decides dot read.all permissions, delegated permissions, so that the application will be able to access the content in SharePoint Online on behalf of the user. In fact, we are using the delegated permissions, which means that every single user interacted with my custom bot will only be able to see the content that she or he is allowed to see in the target site or in the target SharePoint Online environment. By doing that, and by publishing the solution onto a channel. So if you go to channels, you can configure a Microsoft Teams channel to have the application available in Teams, as well as you need, first of all, to publish your solution so that it will be available in the uh, Power Platform environment and as such will become available also as a solution that you can connect through a channel to multiple targets, like for example, in this scenario, to Microsoft Teams. From here, you can simply uh, edit the details of this application and configure how it will look like, what the icon will be and stuff like that. Or you can simply get access to the custom copilot from here by clicking on the open copilot and bring brought uh, to the actual Microsoft Teams UI. You can also go to the availability option section and you can copy the link to get a direct access to your uh, custom copilot or you can use these functions to make it available in the store of your Microsoft Teams tenant so that all of the users will be able to install the solution in their target uh, uh, user session in Microsoft Teams. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.